Welcome. In this video I wanted to do a quick unboxing of this ESP32 C3 DevKit M1. This is a development board. So this is a circuit board. It's kind of similar to a Raspberry Pi, but you can't hook a monitor up to it. It's a tiny computer. And this one has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on it. It has Bluetooth 5.0. I don't know the Wi-Fi specs on it. But if you are interested in this, I will put a link in the description of this. But it may not be available. It's been getting sold out a lot. It took me weeks to get this. But I'll put some links to some of the other modules similar to this. So this is the ESP32C3, but there's also one called the S2, I think it is, that's similar. And this is one of the latest ones. And if you do use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So in this video, I just want to do a quick unboxing. I'm not going to get into it because I have no idea how to use this thing. I just thought it'd be interesting to get one of these. So with a board like this, you could hook sensors into it. And it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, so you could connect to it using your phone or... I'm guessing you could probably have it send an email out or maybe you could run a small web browser on this to monitor temperature, things like that. I've been recently playing around with this DHT22 temperature sensor. So I would think that I could hook that into here and maybe do like temperature logging with it. So this did come with a piece of paper with some notes on it. And uh, this says it's confidential. So I don't know. <laughs> it seems weird. It'd be confidential. So I'm not going to share the whole thing. But it talks about some issues with this that'll be different from the production version. So pull that out here. So the packaging on it's really cool. I mean for, you know, just a little development board. And here it is here. We have the chips on here. I don't know what chip is what, but it has these pins on it. There's like a ground here. I see a TX, RX, uh, different GPIO pins, things like that. So from what I understand, you could hook sensors into this. So I'll be hooking it up to a breadboard. I assume this will plug in here somehow, like so maybe. There we go. And it has a micro USB interface. So you do need a micro USB cord for this. It has a reset switch, a boot switch. And I don't know if this is the chip. It does have the antenna. Is that the antenna maybe for the Wi-Fi? So here's a close-up shot of the board. I don't know what all these components are, but right here we have the power LED. This is an RGB LED. Of course we have the micro USB port. The switches. I pulled out my microscope and this chip here looked like it had a blob of solder in the middle. This little dot here. I don't know if that's supposed to be there or if that's splattered on there. And it has a bunch of these surface mount resistors and stuff. I think this is part of the power circuitry. Maybe for switching from 5 volts to 3 volts. 3.3 volts. I'm not real sure. And you can see the labels here on the different pins. They're very hard to read. But you can go online into their, it's like a manual they have online, and there's a picture with all of these labeled. And some of these are multi-purpose. They have different usages depending on what you're doing. And that chart shows those. So that's pretty handy. And I'll put a link in the description of that manual if you want to read through that. So some things I'd like to do with this is remote temperature monitoring. I would really like to be able to you know, tell if the temperatures are getting down below freezing or... Uh, hooked into a furnace or a water heater to tell if it's working or not. The ultimate would be to set this up, have it monitor temperature, and then have it email or notify you somehow that there's a problem. I think that would be really neat. So like I said, I don't know anything about how to use this. You, I know you program, you write software for it, and you upload it to it, and then run it. I did see this here. It says there's this Rainmaker thing, and it sounds like it's an environment where you can download an app, and it kind of does a lot of that for you. So you could in theory say write an app and write software on this and I'm talk to each other. Well, they've already made an app and there's like little widget kind of things you can put on there. So you can have a switch on the app that you can turn on and off that will trigger the GPIO on here to say turn the light on and off, things like that. So I don't have a lot to show in this video, but I will put a link below to a playlist with this. And if you're watching this the day I upload this, there'll be one video there. But I'm hoping that by making a playlist, I kind of force myself to make more videos on this and learn more about it and share. So... If you do have any suggestions about this, you know, drop them in the comments, or if there's anything you'd like to see or research, anything you want to know if we can do. I can't promise I can try everything out, but hopefully I'll get to learn in this a little bit and can share some things about it. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.